A clash of governor versus lieutenant governor in Idaho. What went on here when Idaho governor Brad Little was out of town? We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Off the top, I mentioned I'm now on Rumble. Have you subscribed there me yet? If not, what are you guys waiting for? The link is down below. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here. I could be thrown off YouTube at any point. Don't wait for that to happen. Get on over there, Rumble guys. Sign up. Check out my content there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, this was quite a confrontation. I mean, you got two Republicans here. You got Republican Governor Brad Little, and you got the Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeechan. Now, Brad Little was out of town in Tennessee earlier in the week for a, a convention with other Republican governors. And as it states in Idaho law, if at any point... The governor of Idaho is either incapable of performing his duties or is out of town for a certain length of time. Well, then all power can go over to the lieutenant, the lieutenant governor uh, in that particular instance in time. And that's exactly what happened here. So what you had here in the sense was McGeechan, knowing that Little was gone out of town, did an executive order herself. And that executive order was to ban the localities, the local governments from being able to institute the face diaper mandates. Now, previously, Brad Little had put that order in place, giving all power to local governments, mayors, you know what, make your own rules when it comes to these face diapers. He just kind of like washed his hands of it. He didn't want nothing to do with it. He didn't have the guts to actually ban the local governments from doing this in the first place. But McEachin stepped in and said, you know what? I'm going to do it in the absence of the governor. She wrote the executive order out, put it out there, and, well, Brad Little was furious when he found out about it. I got more to say on this, guys, in just a second. Really quick, if God lays it on your heart here to help donate to our ministry, we would so much appreciate that. You know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They're not going to help support Christian conservative content creators like me, but you guys can help me out in a major way way the links are down below you can do paypal or patreon even guys just five dollars a month over on patreon you can sign up there you get my bonus podcast i talk more about sensitive information plus we include the links to these youtube videos up there because you're not going to be alerted for all the new content that comes out plus you can comment on these same videos there but do it censorship free because youtube is blocking and hiding so many of the comments you guys right now so Get on over there to Patreon and sign up, guys. It will help us out a great deal. God bless any of you who are able to help us out with that. Once Little got back, though, from the trip to Tennessee, I mean, he took it upon himself to just completely berate McGeechan for what she did here, putting out the executive order. He immediately repealed it, giving all the power back once again to the local governments, being able to put the face diaper mandates back in place, Also, by the way, that includes children as well. Small children, yes, even toddlers, he said, where the situation would be best fit. So, you know, these daycare centers, everything like that. This is a a Republican state, but it's not all that it seems to be with Idaho. I mean, Little had a lot of nerve here calling, you know, McEachin's actions tyrannical when Little himself has been accused of the same thing overriding his own Republican legislature with several bills, wanting to extend his emergency powers. I mean, so I just think it's Rich going after McGeechan, who, by the way, announced that she will be primarying the governor uh, in the upcoming governor's election. And and I think that's great. I think McGeechan would make a great governor of Idaho, a true principled conservative who will actually stick up for the rights and defend the freedoms of those there in Idaho. In fact, she said that in a statement after Little went out there and just kind of blasted her for what she did and said, this is purely a political stunt. She had no right to do this. Oh, I'm so disappointed in this, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) She came out and defended her position, and good for her, and said she's going to continue to defend the rights of all Idahoans. And well, on her way, she could become the next governor of the state. We'll see what happens. It's going to be an interesting election season in the state of Idaho. We're going to have to see how that one plays out. you got to get the rhinos out of there and get the true principled conservatives in their place because far too often and we see these types of Republicans are sitting in there. You don't often think about it, but they have ulterior motives. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe i got some of you out there that live in Idaho. You can tell me about what's going on there and how it's affecting you. But, you know, speaking of affecting, 
what is going on in our world right now? Why is all this craziness happening? The continued enforcement of the face diapers, everything going crazy in the Middle East right now. We're in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And that is our ministry here. We do these prophetic news videos. We talk about the events happening around the world because we're trying to get people to Jesus. And maybe that's you. If you haven't accepted him as Lord and Savior, well, here's your opportunity. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. But what you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.